Jim Flowers, of course, is keeping tabs on Thursday because the weather is looking bad. Such a big travel week, Jim, and it's always one of those weeks where it's not just one day, it really spans yeah. Wednesday and through Sunday. Right, it actually begins tomorrow and, and then winds up on Sunday. And uh, to begin and end that particular streak, we're looking at precipitation. We're going to focus in on Wednesday and Thursday, at least initially. Let's take a look at Threat Tracker first. It is in the moderate category. It may raise this depending upon our chances for freezing rain. Right now, it tends to favor some ice pellets. By early afternoon, if it looks like temperatures will hold at or below freezing, we may raise this into the high category tonight or tomorrow. There is a winter storm watch. It's basically along the I-80 corridor late tomorrow night all the way through Thursday from Grand Island, Lincoln, Omaha, over toward Atlantic. And this is for, again, icing that's going to uh, accumulate. Could be anywhere from a tenth to two tenths of an inch. The question is whether it's freezing rain or whether it falls as ice pellets. Across the area right now, it's hard to believe they have a watch in effect. Temperatures right now running in the 50s, 54 at Fair Acres. Same thing in Weston Hills. In your backyard, if you live in La Vista, it's 54 and currently 53 in the Papillion neighborhood. So all the way around, it's been actually a very nice day today. Despite the clouds tomorrow and maybe some drizzle, it looks like a pretty uh, decent day temperature wise as well. Now to our north, readings have fallen into the 40s, otherwise lower and mid 50s across the area. Taking a look at out at Epley Airfield, they have a current temperature of 53. Winds have been a little bit brisk out of the southeast currently at 13 miles an hour. Now, satellite shows at least some scattered high clouds running uh, to the east, most of these north of Interstate 80. However, low clouds will increase rapidly after midnight. You can see these kind of a, a very light gray showing up from southern portions of Kansas all the way down through Oklahoma into Texas. These are racing north. Uh, they're on the heels of the low-level jet, and they should be in here again after midnight tonight. We're going to put the maps in motion. We'll start tomorrow, big travel day. If you're traveling within a, a day's drive of Omaha tomorrow, really no significant issues. Again, this is mainly drizzle at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. It's actually Thursday morning where things begin to change a little bit. Rain develops to our south. Here we are at 6 a.m., an intervening area of ice and then snow out west. As we head toward lunchtime, rain here, the ice not that far away. Could be freezing rain, could be in the form of ice pellets, and then snow out west. As we go toward 3 o'clock, that's when I think we're going to go over to some ice pellets here. Again, rain to our south and east, snow out west. Ice pellets will continue through at least 6, maybe even 7 o'clock. Snow out to the northwest, and then as we head toward evening, precipitation begins to push into western portions of Iowa, and it begins to weaken. Needless to say, late in the day on Thursday, travel will be an issue. 44 degrees tonight. Those low clouds will be moving in after midnight. Tomorrow, overcast skies, some drizzle. 53, so despite the clouds, still a fairly mild day. And then over the next three days, Thursday icing will keep you posted. Winter storm watch there. Clouds linger into Friday for the game in Lincoln, so we're looking at temps in the mid-30s, and then a chance for uh, what could be some rain or snow again for Sunday and Monday. That does not look like a big deal despite the probabilities, and it stays in the 30s right through Tuesday. We'll keep you posted on the weekend as well. Craig?